Hello friends and family, how are you doing today? We hope na kayo po ay laging nasa mabuting kalagayan sa grasya ng Panginoong Diyos. Another day na binigay sa atin ng Panginoong Diyos and we are bringing you our devotion for this Monday. And so before that, let us come to the Lord in prayer. Tayo po'y manalangin. Father, salamat po muli sa panibagong araw na to, panibagong linggo na binigay mo sa amin, Panginoon. And yes, Lord, we want to know you. We want to stay connected with you, Lord God. Sapagkat alam po namin na kung wala ka, wala po kami magagawa, Panginoon. So speak to us through your words today. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. So we are beginning a new devotion series. And uh, the title of this uh, devotion series is Jesus, I Need You. And uh, this uh, particular devotion, uh, the one we will do today is an introduction. So it has two parts. And then um, after that, this uh, whole devotion series has a total of eight parts with six subtitles. So if you sum it up all together, 50 titles though, okay. 50 well, subtitles I mean, I mean, though. Yes. Uh, we're not sure if we'll go through it all, but uh, maybe we will. So mm. that's 50 subtitles. So again, today's title is Jesus, I Need You. Let's begin. These days, we are so full of ourselves without even realizing it. But what we desperately need is to be filled with Christ. It is often even difficult to discern how different our ways are from His ways because no matter what kind of home we have been raised in, Christian or non-Christian, because of our indwelling sin and because we have grown up in a church that is within the culture, we have acquired habits, behaviors, thought patterns, and reasoning from many sources other than Christ without even knowing it. So, totoo yun, no? You know, as much as we think that uh, yung pagka-Kristyano natin, our Christianity is so pure, mm. we're so full of ourselves, no? We're so full of our culture, mm-hmm. uh, our, our certain upbringings, no? And uh, we say it's, we say we're Christians, pero ang dami natin mga ginagawa o mga thought patterns, reasoning mm-hmm. na far from Christ, no? This was Paul's aim. For me to live is Christ. Philippians 1.21 says, Paul did not always live for Christ. He only began to do so when Jesus confronted him on the road to Damascus and convinced him of his sin. And when we, and when by grace he was brought to see Jesus for the, who he was, make Jesus your prayer and cry out to him. Ask Jesus to give you the ability to seek him first as he commanded in Matthew 6, 25 to verse 33. Mm. Jesus, I need you. I can't do life without you. So, hindi talaga tayo pwede mamuhay na wala si Cristo sa ating buhay. Not only you can't live, but you can't do life without him. Jesus, you are not just an idea a list of do's and don'ts, a doctrine or a cause. I need you and I want you. I want to know you so well that I know you better than I know anyone, my family, my friends, my closest friend, even myself. I want you to be right here, right now. I long to be able to sit next to you, to spend time in your presence, and to ask you questions that flood my mind and my heart. I want to be able to run to you, lay my head on your shoulder, pour out my heart to you, and have you put your arms around me and speak truth to me, even the hard truth. I need your help, your grace, your mercy. I can't do life alone. Close today by praying through Matthew, 20, Matthew 6, 25 to verse 33. And then tomorrow we will offer, or the next uh, series or devotion, we will offer up another prayer that you can pray each day for as long as you are led to pray through it. So it says, pray through Matthew 6, 25, 33. But let's read the other scriptures first that is in line uh, with this devotion. Philippians chapter 1, verse 21 says, For to me, living means living for Christ, and dying is even better. 
So living means living for Christ. And then Matthew chapter 6, verse 25 to verse 33, which tells us to pray through this is, This is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life, whether you have enough food and drink or enough clothes to wear. Isn't life more than food and your body more than clothing? Look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns, for your heavenly Father feeds them. Aren't you far more valuable to Him than they are? Can all your worries add a single moment to your life? And why worry about your clothing? Look at the lilies of the field and how they grow. They don't work or make their clothing, yet Solomon in all his glory was not dressed as beautifully as they are. And if God cares so wonderfully for wildflowers that are here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow, he will certainly care for you. Why do you have so little faith? So don't worry about these things saying, what we will eat, what will we drink, what will we wear? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers. But your heavenly Father already knows all your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above else and live righteously, and He will give you everything you need. Now, most of the time, when we read Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God above all, all else, live righteously, and He will give you everything you need. Most of the time, yung focus natin is on everything we need. Mm. So, nag-end tayo dun, and God will supply all my needs, di ba? If I seek Him first. The focus of this scripture is not what you need, but it's who you need, which is Him. We need God. This is what the scripture is trying to tell us. He's not really, God is not really trying to tell us that He will provide all of your needs. What He's trying to tell us is we need Him more than anything else. We need Him more than our needs. We need Him more than people. So the focus of this scripture is not to have everything you need, but seeking God above everything you want or need. Mm -hmm. So we should seek God above everything we need. You need food, you need clothing, you need money. We must see God above all those things. We must understand that we need Him more than anything else or anyone else. Mm -hmm. See, we allow these so many things uh, and even people to get in the way of our relationship with God. And that's why the Bible says, seek Him first. And so many things have influence in our lives. That's why He says, seek Him first. In the first uh, paragraph of this uh, devotion says that we're so full of ourselves. And, you know, we're, we are. Uh, the moment you say that you're not is just proof that you are already full of yourself. We're so full of ourselves. Mm -hmm. So much pride, so much me, so much of this world in me. And that's mm -hmm. why the Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Seek him first. As a result, God will take care of our needs. But the focus is not what we need. The focus is who we need. The focus of the scripture is we need God. We need Christ more than anything else mm -hmm. and more than anyone else. Yes, yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this is really timely. Uh, God has put, been putting, you know, this type of a message in my heart for the church. I feel that a lot of us are, are in a sense, going astray or lacking now in our relationship with God and depending upon so many other things. And God is saying, seek Him first. Yes. Amen. In other words, we need God talaga sa buhay natin. Amen. In other words, kung wala ang Panginoong Dios, even though your life is full of things, without God, we are nothing. Without God, parang ano, mahirap pa rin tayo. We are Amen. poor mm. and we are hopeless without God. Amen. Because... God is the source of everything. So again, hindi naman lalapit tayo sa Diyos dahil sa pangangailangan natin. Mm -hmm. It's just, Siya ang pangangailangan natin. Yes, we need we Him. Need. Him. Oh, oh. Kaya nga, yung title is, Jesus, I need you. You know, I've been a Christian now for almost 37 or 38 years. Pero every day na magigising ako after thanking God and worshiping God, laging lumalabas sa aking Bibig. I always say that, Lord, I need you. Amen. Kasi yun ang totoo. Amen. Now, without God, without Jesus sa atin, 
Maaring kikilos tayo, maaring makakapagtrabaho tayo. But at the end of the day, siya lamang ang makapagbibigay talaga sa atin ng lahat ng kailangan natin upang mabuhay dito sa mundo. So without Christ, we are nothing. So every day, I need you, Jesus, that would, that would ano, be uh, part ng ating panalangin. Kasi without Christ, we are nothing. Amen. And sabi ni Paul, for me to live is Christ. Meaning, kung mabubuhay lamang siya, dapat kay Kristo, dapat nandun si Jesus. Mm-hmm. Kasi kung wala si Kristo, walang say-say ang buhay. Amen. Kahit na, again, paulit-ulit kong sinasabi, kahit you have everything you, you need, kung wala si Kristo, baliwala pa rin ang lahat ng bagay. Kaya sabi ni Paul, for me to live is Christ. Amen. In other words, alisin mo na ang lahat, wag lang si Kristo. Amen. Sapagkat, kung wala si Kristo, ay talagang wala yung mga bagay na yan sa buhay natin. Amen. Yeah? Amen. Pastor Arnel shared a message uh, some months ago uh, about uh, being anchored in Christ. Mm-hmm. And we need to be anchored in Him. Kung talaga alam natin, uh, if we really truly understand our need for Christ, we will be anchored in Him. Kasi ang tendency nga, pag hindi tayo naka-anchor, sinare ni Pastor Arnel, that we tend to drift, not tend talaga, magda-drift talaga mm. tayo. And little by little, mamaya makikita natin ang layo na natin kay Christ. No? It seems like you're not moving, but you're just drifting. Little by little, drifting away. Yes. And so we need to be anchored in Christ. And the only way to be anchored in Him is to really understand how much we need Him. Yes. And... Uh, we cannot even grasp that with our mind. It, mm-hmm. it can only be explained to us and for us to, to really understand that in the spirit now how much we need Him. Mm-hmm. And so, kailangan talaga, ano, you know, seek Him first. The focus again of Matthew 6.33 is not what you need, but it's who you need. That's why it says, seek first yes. the kingdom of God and His righteousness. Another picture na binigay sa atin sa Bible and ito po sinabi ni Jesus in John 15, that sabi niya, I am the vine, you are the branches. If a, man, if a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. In other words, yung bearing ng fruit sa buhay natin talaga is highly connected or solely connected dapat tayo sa, sa main vine. Sabi niya, apart from me, you can do nothing. Talaga wala tala, talaga tayo magagawa. And if, if anyone does not remain in me, he is like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Kung wala si Kristo, matutuyo po tayo. Mm-hmm. Manghihina tayo. And life beca- become ano, senseless talaga. I know people na nasa kanila ng lahat, pero walang meaning ang, ang buhay nila. Mm-hmm. Walang joy, walang peace, samantalang nandun na sa kanila ng lahat. Simply mm-hmm. because wala si Jesus, they're not connected to the main source of life. Amen. And that is Jesus. Amen. Sabi dun, such branches are picked up and thrown into the fire and burn. So yan po yung sinabi ni Jesus in John 15, reminding us na talaga we need to stay connected, we need Jesus Amen. every moment, every second ng buhay natin, mm-hmm. for without Him, we are nothing Amen. talaga. Amen. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and close, Pastor Arnel will close in prayer, but I'm going to say once again, I really sense that there are a lot of people just drifting away, and you're just getting farther and farther from your that intimate relationship with God, and so we're encouraging you Seek first the kingdom of God. Seek His righteousness. Seek Him above all. Understand today that you need Jesus. Amen. So let us pray. Father, we acknowledge that we need You. That we are nothing without You, Lord God. And Father, we can't do life without You. Kahit single moment lang ng buhay namin. Maring humihinga kami, maring kumikilos kami. But without you, we don't have real life, Lord God. So we want to stay close to you. We want you more sa buhay namin, yes, Panginoon. Lord Jesus. More than anything else, Lord God, Ikaw po ang aming buhay. Ikaw ang lumika sa amin. You are our God. And we are your children. And we, we want to stay connected with you as our Father. And Lord, thank you so much. Help us every day as we wake up, Lord, to realize that we need you. We can again, do life without you. Kailangan ka namin sa buhay namin. And we pray right now, yung mga kapatiran po namin, that they will acknowledge you, Jesus, sa buhay nila, Lord and Savior, na ikaw ang pagkakatiwala nila, ikaw ang tatakbuhan nila sa kanilang buhay, Panginoon. 
sapagat nasa iyo ang tunay na buhay. Again, we acknowledge, Lord God, we need you. We need your help. We need your grace, your mercy. We can't do life alone. Father, we thank you. You love, you love us so much that you sent your son, Jesus, to be with us. Again, when Jesus went back to you, Lord God, you sent the Holy Spirit to be with us, helping us, Lord God, to obey and to follow you. Lord, we thank you. Jesus. We give you glory. We give you, you honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen and amen. amen. And God bless CRC. God, God bless the Philippines. And, and God bless Olongapo. Again, have a great week. And remember, God is good all the time. Amen. Seek Him first. Amen. All right. Thank you.